Hello everyone, this is the Developing China. Welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss a topic with you. Today, let's focus on the issue of China's chip goddess successfully shut Americans up. In today's world, whoever masters the core technology has a higher right to speak. This is exactly the case with semiconductors. For a long time in the past, the development of China's semiconductor industry has been in a bottleneck period, which was once questioned by many foreign experts. However, the appearance of the chip goddess Huang Qianxian made the United States successfully shut up. The chip goddess Huang Qianxian uses her achievements and works to help the development of Chinese technology and chip R&D. Surprisingly, she has no experience of studying abroad. She was admitted to Peking University at the age of 17, obtained a doctorate at the age of 26, and was selected into the Future Female Scientist program at the age of 28. In the same year, she became a doctoral tutor. She won the Tencent 3 million prize. And she was 30 years old and won the World Scientific Research Award. She has not only won many honors and awards, but also has a deep sense of family and country. Her patriotic enthusiasm has been infecting students from generation to generation. In order to prove that she can learn better knowledge in her motherland, she refused the invitation of famous foreign universities, and her experience tells us that China's higher education is not inferior to the West, and the motherland is fully capable of cultivating top international scientists, which also makes us more firmly believe that China has unlimited possibilities. Today, she has applied for more than 70 patents, and has obtained more than 10 international authorized patents and more than 40 domestic authorized patents. The scientific research level of nanoelectronics has risen to the forefront of the world. She is known as the chip goddess Huang Qianqian. In 1989, Huang Qianqian was born in a very ordinary small family in Shangrao, Jiangxi. She has been diligent since childhood and studied hard. Born in a small rural town, she cherishes the opportunity to study. Whenever she has free time, she immerses herself in the textbook, not affected by any foreign objects. The academic performance has always been among the best, and it has always been the children of other families in the mouths of parents. Many parents use Huang Qianqian as a benchmark to educate their children. Huang Qianqian not only has good grades, but also is very sensible and well-behaved, and is deeply loved by teachers and classmates. During the compulsory education stage, she skipped grades twice. Huang Qianqian, who has excellent grades, lived up to expectations in 2003, and was admitted to the city's top Shangrao No. 1 middle school. Entering high school, Huang Qianqian is as good as ever. Although she is the youngest among her classmates, Huang Qianqian can still stand out. No matter in terms of study or appearance, Huang Qianqian has not fallen behind, because almost every exam, Huang Qianqian can sit firmly on the first throne, and she also she has become a star in the school. She not only has good academic performance, but also has good moral, intellectual, and physical beauty. She can be seen in big and small competitions, making other students unmatched. In 2006, Huang Qianqian was admitted to the Department of Computer Science of Peking University with excellent results. It is worth mentioning that before entering university, Huang Qianqian had never touched a computer. In order to better integrate herself into this study, she can only spend more time learning some basic knowledge, and after a year of hard work, she finally achieved excellent results. 
The seemingly good results encouraged her and gave her a lot of confidence to start exploring in more in-depth areas. In her junior year, Huang Qianxian was fortunate to join the Department of Micro-Nanoelectronics of academician Huang Ru. She began to study ultra-low-power micro-nanoelectronic devices in the post-Moore era and their applications in logic circuits, neuromorphic computing and other fields. This field belongs to the field of basic disciplines. Once a breakthrough is made, it will promote the progress of related industries and almost usher in a new era. In order to overcome scientific research problems, staying up all night and sleeping in the research room is also commonplace for Huang Qianxian. In her opinion, this is not hard at all, and it is the daily life of a scientist. In 2010, Huang Qianxian graduated successfully. In those days, computing was a hot profession. As a top student in the computer field, as long as she wants to, she can get an annual salary of millions at her fingertips. But Huang Qianxian's vision is very long-term, she chooses to continue in-depth research, and research is carried out in China. In fact, many foreign schools have offered her an olive branch and invited her with various benefits, but in the face of these temptations, she rejected all of them and just wanted to concentrate on research in China and learned that Huang Qianxian when she stayed in this school, many people felt sorry for her but Huang Qianxian proved everything with practical actions. In the past, China was still very backward in the field of micro-nanoelectronic devices and had to rely on foreign technology. Huang Qianxian's work revolves around solving the worldwide scientific research problems in the field of microelectronic devices. Since 2011, Huang Qianxian has published relevant articles in IEDM as the first author, constantly strengthening her voice from China. For the next five years, she immersed herself in research and sweated profusely. In the lab, she carefully recorded the data, debugged it again and again, checked it over and over, and tapped the code bit by bit. For five years, she received the top scholarship every year. Upon graduation, she won the Academic New Talent Award with the first overall result. In 2015, she obtained a doctorate degree in microelectronics and solid-state electronics from Peking University, becoming one of the few pure domestic doctorates in my country without overseas study experience. However, what is truly amazing is what Huang Qianxian achieved. As an expert in the field of microelectronics, she is highly accomplished. She has made a series of achievements in many high-precision fields such as microcircuit design and chip research and development. At a young age, she was among the top scholars in the industry. Since 2011, Huang Qianxian has published many high-quality papers in IEDM, and there are countless other papers of lesser level. However, what is truly amazing is what Huang Qianxian has achieved in the past two years. As an expert in the field of microelectronics, she is highly accomplished. She has made a series of achievements in many high-precision fields such as microcircuit design and chip research and development. At a young age, she ranks among the top scholars in the industry. In 2017, Huang Qianxian was awarded the China Future Women Scientist Program. She has become the first young scholar in the field of microelectronics since the establishment of this award by virtue of her outstanding achievements in the research of ultra-low-power micro-nanoelectronic new principal devices over the years. At the same time, at the age of 28, she became a researcher and doctoral tutor of the Department of Micro-Nanoelectronics at Peking University.
After obtaining that iron rice bowl, Huang Qianxian did not stop moving forward. After getting that iron rice bowl, Huang Qianxian did not stop moving forward. Her experimental achievements have had an important impact on a global scale. In 2018, she cooperated with SMIC to develop ultra-low power components and at the same time explored the world's first complementary tunneling device integration technology based on a 12-inch CMOS production line. In 2019, Huang Qianxian won the IEEE Electronic Devices Society Youth Achievement Award for its important contribution to the basic research of ultra-low-power micro-nano-electronic devices. There are only three people who have won such an honor this year, and Huang Qianxian is one of them. First, she is also the second recipient of the award from a Chinese research institution since the award was established. And she also appeared on the 2019 Forbes China 30 Under 30 Elite list. In 2020, Huang Qianxian stood out from more than 1,200 applied scientists and won the annual Scientific Exploration Award and a bonus of 3 million yuan. At the same time, he also won the 2020 Tsushir Outstanding Young Scholar Award. In the field of micro nano components, she continued to take the lead and showed her extraordinary talents to her peers in the world. So far, she has published nearly 70 academic papers and has more than 70 patents. It has to be said that Astragalus has made great contributions to the field of chip technology in my country. Today, with the increasing voice of basic disciplines, there are not many scientists like Huang Qianxian who have been able to do basic scientific research and continuous cutting-edge innovation for 10 years. But it is precisely because of the persistence of these scientists that China's industry and economy have developed by leaps and bounds today. In today's impetuous society, Huang Qianxian gives us a spiritual inspiration and is the benchmark for our learning in today's era. Huang Qianxian's experience also shows that China's higher education is not inferior to the West. The motherland is fully capable of cultivating top international scientists, and it also makes us more firmly believe that China has unlimited possibilities. We always firmly believe that when the youth is strong, the country is strong. The wisdom of the youth is the wisdom of the country. Chinese nation has become more and more prosperous and prosperous because of the dedication of scientists like Huang Qianxian. Thank you for watching our video. How do you think about China's chip goddess successfully shut Americans up? You can put your opinions and ideas in the comments below. If you love our videos, please share them with your friends.